Alabama has officially hired Kevin Steele to be the school's next defensive coordinator. Now, if you're an Alabama fan, you're a little underwhelmed by the hire. Let's give it a shot here. Let's walk through this thing together. Let's see how the puzzle pieces actually fit. Uh, Steele spent last season as the D.C. at Miami in Mario Cristobal's debut season, but most SEC fans likely remember him coaching Gus Malzahn's defense at Auburn from 2016 through 2020. And then, of course, you've got the booster coup that attempted to get Steele the head coaching job on the Plains, which then led to former athletic director Alan Green hiring Brian Harson instead. Now, that Harson hire obviously led to Green's dismissal or the failure to renew his contract, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Steele has now been at Alabama three times under Nick Saban. He was Saban's first defensive coordinator in 2007. He was effectively co-DC with Kirby Smart in 2008. Uh, and then he left to take the defensive coordinator job with Dabo Sweeney at Clemson. That was from 2009 through 2011. He then came back to Alabama as director of player personnel in 2013. He moved to linebackers coach in 2014. And then he left again for LSU as the defensive coordinator in 2015 before then heading to Auburn. Now, this is where it gets interesting. After the Auburn debacle... Steele was then hired as a defensive, uh, excuse me, a defensive assistant by who else but Jeremy Pruitt at Tennessee in January 2021. Uh, Pruitt was fired around two weeks later, and Steele was then given the interim head coaching role in Knoxville before new Tennessee AD Danny White hired his UCF head coach, Josh Heupel. Now, Heupel did not retain Steele on his defense, so Steele got a $1 million buyout for basically doing about two weeks worth of work in Knoxville. Uh, but let's dive into it. Let's. How does this hire make sense for Nick Saban, right? Miami just went 5-7 and seven in Crystal Ball's first season. Uh, we know that the Canes were not good, right? Uh, on defense, they actually weren't that bad, like at least from an efficiency standpoint. The offense was putrid. They were number 94 predicted points added per drive, but the defense was number 39. As far as success rate, number 60 overall on defense, and this was without his own roster. If you remember back to what he was able to do at Auburn, he had the number 24, number 8, number 34, number 17, and number 60 yards per play defenses in FBS in his five seasons there. At Miami, that secondary was weak. You know that Steele and his bunch like to kind of leave those corners on islands. Uh, you couldn't really do that with this bunch. Uh, I think we'll come to find out soon enough that this hiring is not as much about what Steele has been capable of doing over the years as it is bringing in somebody that Jeremy Pruitt and Nick Saban trust. Now, Pruitt worked at Alabama as the director of player personnel with Kevin Steele as the D.C. in 2007 and 2008. Steele uh, recruited Hoover High School. He set up the first meeting between Pruitt and Coach Saban. Now, Steele helped Pruitt work his way up to getting an on-field assistant role at Alabama, which then led to him being a D.C. at Florida State at Georgia, and at Alabama before being hired as the head coach at Tennessee. Now, I'm sure that you're curious about why I keep bringing up Pruitt. Now, the rumors are that Jeremy Pruitt is going to be hired as a defensive analyst at Alabama. Uh, he likely would be the D.C. if not for the NCAA mess at Tennessee or Tennessee that still does not have a resolution. Uh, Pruitt can be an analyst. He can help scheme. He can put together the defensive game plan for Steele to call on Saturdays. And if or when Pruitt eventually gets cleared by the NCAA, everybody assumes he'll move back to that defensive coordinator job. And still is a good defensive mind. Uh, he's somebody that Saban has worked with multiple times. He understands his role in Tuscaloosa with Nick Saban. It's not a flashy name like taking Glenn Schumann from Georgia or hiring some new up-and-comer from a smaller school, but it is efficient, and it's a move that makes a lot of sense with Saban getting older and watching Georgia win two straight national championships with a team that looks a lot like it was built by Saban from 2011 through about 2016. Uh, the other part of this is, even if you take Pruitt out of this, remember Saban just hired Austin Armstrong, who was the defensive coordinator at Southern Miss. This is a guy that's an up-and-comer that may not be ready for a defensive coordinator position, but you know that Kevin Steele is going to help him get there. He's going to help develop that coaching talent. Now, for Alabama... This was simply a hire that gets the tide back to the basics. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures.
Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.